Evening all. How are we? Evening all. How are Evening guys, welcome.
Evening, Mark. How are you, sir? You all right? about the dogs if you can hear that barking it was outside so we don't want to do that wakey wakey Ryan Weird, does it? Doesn't do it. Make mind up game. Oh, is it they're too big a panels, I reckon. Tony, yes. A glass roof. See what I can conjure without using a million pieces. Ignore the yellow, that's just so I can see the glass. like the yellow yeah evening Eden how are you you all right long time no see so 
what I'm trying to do here is make it look similar to that but without using <coughs> all those pieces should we say um, I'm just not feeling how big that is what I wanted to do was kind of have it where is it let's say that's roughly in the middle and what I wanted to do yeah I'm all good just tired and long day at work as always See what the 15 degree does. See, so you really need the angles done on nose pieces, so it's just too much, and the beams are too thick. Uh, right. Hi Claire, how are you? All right. Um, right, we're gonna have to make a toolkit the shit out of this then. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, what's Tony saying reminds me of The Simpsons. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Not agreed. Depends how you look at it, dude. I'm just using it for reference, really. <clears throat> what I mean by that is, it's terribly hard to see the glass when it's um, when it's uh, clear, should I say? So it's easier to color it a color and then just uh, change it back when you. When you're done, you know what I mean, select them all and then put them to clear. So, where are we with this? Yeah, and like so. You just got to be bear with me a little bit, guys. I just got to put all this together uh, and then start replicating. smaller pieces so what was that piece that was oh I had three meter by 90 so was it that one nope was it that one okay so we got 12 by 12 12 by 12 12 by 12 there we go you love it when a plan comes together oh look I've got to put You'd think it was coming together, but there is a way of doing this to not use so many pieces. Again, to go there and then close that one up. That's what you call efficient building, guys. That's what you call efficient meta building. And actually, I don't want that one there. Otherwise we're going to be doubling up, so... I get... Going on here, thanks. Get rid of that. Oh, what did that just delete? Or did it not? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, fifteen, twenty, eight, five. Damn it. 
got to love this game sometimes. This one, put all those together. There we go. Put them together. Let's see how this looks then. So we got that. Dish, dish, dish. Oh, come on, what computer work? The reason why I done it that way, guys, is to keep it on the same axis so that you just slid them across as you saw. Because if you try and do them manually, you have to kind of do them at a right angular diagonal, whatever thing whatever it decides to do really so you kind of then end up messing about for hours trying to line it up so what we will do is we will have a flat one on top and if we copy that and then to point of reference now because the problem is if I do it at a 15 degree angle it's going to be like a big bowl and I don't want that I just want so, I'm not going to do this. So, basically, and then if I take off the angle and then rotate that to that, and slide it across, and get it at a slight angle. And then this is where your patience really kicks in. There we are. And then we'll do the same again. It's not going to let me do it now, is it? Because it's on an angle. Oh no, it is. Okay, so bang out to the middle. See that now it's raised it up. So we then lower it down. The other problem because I'm so far away from the adjustment tool it's quite hard to get it bang on and if we do the same again and do the same again so we know we're at the right angle which is fine so there we are it's tough work do I play console? No, Mark. Do you like architecture? Is it something you're interested in? Uh, it's funny you ask that, Eden. Uh, when I actually was at school, um, I uh, was very good at art and graphics <coughs> and graphic design. Um, and actually did want to be an architect, but uh, failed miserably at school. So my own loss, really, um, is what it is. But that is one of the reasons why I... Uh, enjoy this game because it gives people with a little bit of ability something to put the creative side of things in as you can see via my bills and the reason why you probably prompted the question uh, every time the grid ruins things yeah this isn't on grid though Jack just to let you know mate this is all freehand this is improv at its uh, craziest Oh, by the way, Tony, um, there's a lady called Claire Holyland. She's a, a Spurs supporter as well, mate, so I'm sure you two get on really well. <laughs> you and your blue socks. Still there, time. Uh, 
and I suppose you're all going to think that I'm going to try and do the same thing the other way. Well, no, there's a, a trick in the book. Should we say? So where are we now? What is going on with my mouse today? I think it's because people asked me to download a load of parks the other day and basically uh, ThingMaker's Toolkit has just wrecked my computer. It's taken a while to do anything unfortunately. So that angle's not too bad, although Big up the gunners. <laughs> Get lost. Uh, I just don't have patience to look like this. Yeah, you know, it's setting the ground rules, Eden. To be fair, you just set set what you need to set, and then you can replicate and replicate and replicate, and you'll see what I mean in a second uh, once I figure out how wide I want this. So even if I go to there. They're going to come to there, but then we can leave that open. Put a few warnings in. That look all right, actually. So uh, we'll click that. We will click that. We'll have the 45 degree angles on here. Swing it right around. Bring it through, and there's your awning, guys. Done. Simple. Just don't look right because obviously there's nothing underneath it at the minute holding it up. So that actually works quite nicely. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll slightly adjust, oop, forgetting, slightly adjust that, where that, Go. So, it's easy when you know what you're doing, guys. Not that I know everything, obviously, but you can kind of make it work quite nice and easy. And then I'll just grab these. Put them back in the hut. I've got a slight overlap now, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Not going to worry about that. Um, right, now we want vintage. Vintage. What I should have done was the framework first, but then I didn't know what angle I wanted. So that actually works quite nice. What I might do is bring it. Put another section on, maybe, I'm not sure. This is the only tedious bit. But then what, no, you can't. I was gonna say what you could do is do the glass separate to the structure, but then the problem is you can't highlight it all at once and line it up, so you gotta do it like this, unfortunately. The way the game runs. I think I've got about a thousand different buildings in here where you have different structures on structures just to be able to do this kind of thing instead of highlighting it and then highlighting the whole lot. Try and build your buildings separately if you're trying to overlap one another so that when you come to build them it's much easier you don't have to select everything or, or then go and try and figure out what you have and haven't selected apologies for the clicky mouse and you'll see what I mean in a second when I sort this out there we are, all selected change the colour to black there you go, totally transforms the look and makes it look so much better. For me anyway, everyone to their own. So that comes up just here, that's perfect. So if we oh, no. do that. Uh, yeah. Slightly, uh, there. And then we are 
on point there, on point there, so that's fine. And then we're overhanging there, which is absolutely honky dory. And then ch -ch -ch -ch, so what we'll do, come out a tad there, get rid of that one. And that fills that area quite nice. So now we just need to think of a support structure as well as something for the top of these. So plaster. A good friend of mine, Yuri, <coughs> uh, can't spell. He can spell, I can't spell. Recommended the plaster things for me because the advantage to these is they're not grid pieces. So instead of trying to rotate brick, you can slightly darken these out, give it a bit more blue. There we are. 45 it. I wish they were a tiny bit wider, but that's not. Hmm. Uh, right, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, have you, Tone? Have you found it, mate? Any good? I mean, I'm, I've, I've only played Planet Coaster, obviously, with, with mouse and keyboard. I couldn't imagine playing with a controller. Uh, just because the shortcut keys, it's, it's so much easier instead of having to, I don't know, I, I don't know how it works, so I can't comment, but I can only imagine when I used to play um, sim games, it, how can I put it, you had to like hold R3, press R2 or L2 just to get a certain thing going, and oh, I don't know, I just, controllers for me are just more about shooting games and stuff like that, but everyone to their own, but how are we going to do this? I've got right there. You see, this is where I struggle when I do improv because sometimes I sit down and I look at it and I think it just doesn't look right. Um, stuff that. I'll do the roof first. Right. Vintage. I'll figure out those later. Uh, vintage, 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 vintage. Is there you are. Thinking you are. Uh, I'm trying to remember now. It's that one. That one. And that one. So central point is here. X. There we go. Mark, you can just talk to me in chat, mate. You don't have to send it through on... Um, Steam buddy. So that's a good height to be having. Uh, where are we? No worries, dude, it's just the beep. That's all. I noticed it the other night. <laughs> I was re watching um, a couple of videos and um, I was kind of like, what's that beep? And then obviously you popped up in the corner, dude. Well, I'm kicking around the pad, but still just because I'm not used to it. Mouth there. Yes, and that's kind of what I mean, mate. So I'm just going to randomly put one in the middle. And then we will have one. Bang on the corner. I've just done what I said to you guys don't do. So separate structures. X. Now I'll lower that down. Now what we'll actually do is get rid of that second. We'll highlight these three, make a separate structure. Uh, they're in their own group anyway, so that's fine. 
which pack are those column pieces? These ones, um, uh, I don't know, bear with me. I think uh, vintage, um, I, ca I can't remember the pack seed and if I'm honest with you. Uh, what does it tell me? Victorian lamppost, Victorian. Uh, don't know if it tells you what pack they're from. Vintage, is it vintage pack? Free from props, for me, high columns. Um, tell you what, let's do this another way. Content packs, vintage. There you go. So vintage pack. There you go. Hope that helps. Uh, what was I doing? Okay. Um, So we want to get thicker beams this time. Where they go? There they are. Slide that up. There we go. There's one other thing, guys, as well. As you can tell by the colours, all the different pieces you use, you could use the same colour, but they all come out a different shade. Uh, these are Theme Maker's Toolkit, these pieces. So you can see that the reflections are slightly different uh, or slightly richer. I'll let you know. So we'll do, we'll do that. That's if you're going to go for the same colour scheme, obviously. <clears throat> I don't have that one. be honest with you I I don't actually take much notice of the packs I never did when I got them I think the only ones I really took notice of um, because when I bought the game I bought it in the sale just before I think it was November 2018 I think it was um, and oh, I totally forgot I lost, I've lost my train of thought now um, November 18 blah 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 um, and they had a big sale on so pretty much it was kind of like you buy the game and buy the whole lot and uh, basically I got everything with the main game for I don't know about 30 quid more than just the game um, so basically I never really took note of what actually came in the pack should I say um, so it was kind of like I've just built with what's in the game I've, I've never really looked at it and gone oh that's in that pack that's in that pack and that's not been rude um, it's just for the fact that I've never really taken note of what came in each pack uh, because I got everything at the same time. So you can see that now this one has to be much brighter than the one I just selected to be able to be the same colour. So that's that's just, just to let you guys know really. Um, and then I've selected the same colours as throughout the rest of the park. So a 45 degree angle that out. And that across to the middle. Pretty bob on. And again, what you're seeing here, guys, is when you ask me, how do you do this? How do you do that? And how much time does it take to do this and that and so forth? Well, you, you're seeing it. It does take a while to get stuff done. Um, but at the same time, once you get the ball rolling, it's, uh, you know, it's there. It's going. Like the entrance, I mean, you got 4,000 pieces of all this in the entrance, uh, which was mad. But as you saw at the beginning, once you get, I mean, this, this roof <coughs> obviously is nothing compared to these roofs. So you can imagine that, um, the only pack, what was that, Tony? Why have I hidden Tony? What the, sorry, Tony, I totally went, didn't mean to do that. I limp my finger on the thing, dude. Sorry, dude. Ugh. Hide you on this channel? No. Done. The only pack you got separately was Ghostbusters. Uh, yes. Yes, it was Ghostbusters, because that came out a few months after I bought the game. Um, um, there was another one, actually. Classic... Uh, I can't remember now. Classic Rides, I think. I think that was just rides. There was no uh, piece, pieces to build with or anything in it, if I remember rightly. Oh, 
Ha ha, I didn't mean to press it, literally my phone's, I've got this tiniest little desk guys, if you saw what I'm working off off the edge of my bed, you'd totally understand what just happened. I think the, uh, the word shit happens now comes into the equation. Pardon any kids. So, uh, oh no, I've got to adjust that one. Can't be having that Ryan do it properly. Got to get it in the center. There you go. Right, okay, so fix that. It's just the little touches, guys, like just making sure that that is flush. Um, and the same here. Making sure it's central. Studio pack's a good one. Yeah, I like the studio pack because I think you get no, you don't. No, that's the adventure pack. Mm, I can't remember now. Uh, studio pack's cool. I've just I've never really utilised like a lot of the pieces because I think a lot of the studio pack, if I remember rightly, is um, uh, animatronics and bits. You know, like it's not explode. Well, explosions is a part of it, if I remember rightly. Um, but uh, like cars flipping over and bits and bobs. You know me. I like to keep it real, should we say. So that's starting to come together now. So it's starting to look good. So what we will now do is we will copy this whole thing. Uh, hit it again, sorry. Excuse me, guys. And then we will copy that, rotate that 45, 90, 160, 180, sorry. And then we then got a central piece. Where's the center line? There's the central line. So there. Oh. Good. Show you a new little trick in a minute, guys, if you didn't know about it. Involving Barry. Oh, you're having a laugh. Why? Okay, undo. I'm trying to. Yeah, great pops on it. Props, props, not pops. Apologies. Right, so we just need to line this up. There we go. So, why is none of it lining up? This is crazy. That one's lining up. I oh, ask because that one's not central, that's why. Alright, fine. Okay. Little adjustment needs to be made there. Um, okay, let's do that in there. No, we won't. I'll do that after. Okay, so, where's the central piece gone? Was it? Go with that one. And yes, I could just raise it up and line it up, guys. But then I've got to level it out again, and because of the longness of the pieces, it's it's difficult to get it exactly right. So at least I've got the edges done, so that's fine now. So um, you can thread that in like so. Same with this one. Hey Dan, how are you? Watching channel five and over 20 subs gifted. What's that? What's that dude? What's that Dan? Totally lost mate. So with this one, we need to select all of these pieces. None of the uh, One's going through the building. Bring that out. Take it over there. Slot that back like so. 
and then that's lined up. And then we're back in the game. There we go. What's this? Watching Channel 5 and over 20 subs gifted Twitch. Anyway, have fun building. Cheers, Dan. Oh, 20 subs gifted. Right, okay. Yeah, Twitch. I don't get guys. Don't get Twitch. I think it's all a little bit too uh, money grabbing than anything. But again, everyone to their own. Moving on. So, the reason why I'm doing this is setting up for when I have a roof on there. I can then put that PC in and it makes it look like it's into the roof. So that's fine. And then this one leave for a minute so it's starting to get some substance now so we can then have the supports coming off the roof whatever I do with the roof as in these sections here um, and then we can start to just try to think how to do this now because do we want it way veined See all the coasters going around, which is cool. Nice you're ordering your food, getting your water. But then you've also got the complete look of the park, majority of it anyway, when you're eating your food. More game. Once you're eating your food, you can watch out and see everything. It works quite nicely. Yeah, Twitch mate is 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 I don't know, hard work. <coughs> hard work. Don't know what really else to say about it to be honest. It it just it just seems another platform where I don't know, I am not gonna say much about it because it's just not for me. Simple really. Um Gone over the days of like watching one channel I guess and enjoying their videos, I don't know. Yeah, I need to leave that bit. Um, let's let's so, try to think how to do this, make it look a little bit more detailed without going crazy on the piece count. Have you not, Tony? It's something I'm getting used to. <laughs> um, it's not something I thought I'd 
I mean, I'd, I'd do it because uh, I just enjoyed the game and I thought I'd showcase to you guys really more than anything. just find um twitch is all just a bit a bit i i don't know i just don't i just don't enjoy it to be honest with you it's, it's like they get things pop up on the screen like um i don't know prizes and bits and bobs and stuff oh thank you mate that's nice to hear i uh like i've said before i do it because it's a hobby and I also do it to give kids inspiration and you know if I can change one kid's life by giving them a better path why not that's the way I look at it and if I can't and I'm wasting my time who gives crap I'm enjoying it But at the same time, it helps people um, understand the game a little bit better, whether you're console, PC, or whatever. Um, Tony, trust me, two years ago, I didn't see myself doing anything like this, mate. Just sometimes bite the bullet and go for it. And before you know it, you're doing it every night and you've got low spare fans that want to come and talk to you. <laughs> I'm only joking, dude. And Claire, only joking. <clears throat> but hey, if it wasn't for you guys, <clears throat> the channel wouldn't be going as well as it is. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm kind of not in it for the money, but it would be nice. But to be honest with you, the way I look at it, you need 17 million views uh, plus a certain amount of watch time hours, <clears throat> as I found out from an abandoned explorer, to earn about £25,000. So in the grand scheme of things, my 563 hours a year and 418 subscribers, dropped one today for some reason, don't know what I did must have offended someone like I always do um, really isn't anything to be honest with you but it's something that keeps me going keeps the mind occupied and you guys get to see what I do simple really and get to spend time laughs like we did the other night with uh, what was it Tony Enrico little weirdo that he was Probably him that fell off the channel today. Probably clicked so much on someone else's profile they banned him from YouTube. Bless him. So one other thing guys. Now you're probably thinking how am I getting this to here. Well what I do is I actually look at the end point to where I am because it's incredibly difficult to be able to link that to there without a reference point. So as long as you take it back to where you started with the starting point, um, what I do is when I adjust it, I'm always looking here. So for instance, if I know I over adjust, I look at the distance that I adjusted it before and then just do half of it and so forth. So again, it's just trial and practice. Um, and there you go, look, perfect. Pretty much perfect. I actually get that there or not without it popping through. Yes, I can. Bing. And then we're in. So now, copy paste, copy paste, name of the game. And then what we should have, providing the axis doesn't go crazy again, should be able to slide this along to here, line that up with the middle of the post, and then same again, on this end, and 
about how that transforms the whole look of the building <coughs> and it gives you a structurally sound look to it as well. Do you agree? Or is it just me? A super chat? What's a super chat? Enlighten me, Tony. I don't know what a super chat is. I, have, I don't publicise asking for money, do I? I don't ask. Be nice. <laughs> I'm only joking. It's not what what I do. I don't do it for that. I do it for the love of the game. The love of the game. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving swiftly on. So then, what we do, guys, is we. Oh, I did it on a different one. Good. I did. I was a good boy. 45 degree angle on that. Ah, you idiot. Again. Copy, paste. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, you see now, this is because I rotated the whole roof, didn't I? See, I forgot about that. Um, but then really what I need to figure out is what I'm going to do with the top of these. I haven't got a blooming clue. Pay money to comment, I think. I haven't got a clue what you're on about, mate. Um, I haven't got a bank account set to it, so uh, don't waste your money, mate. <laughs> you have to have a thousand viewers. You have, have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand minutes. I think it's minutes watched in a no four thousand hours watched in a year to even qualify for getting money and if I remember rightly let me just check actually I'll show you guys um, not like I said though not like I'm trying to I'm not trying to I just want to explain to you how hard it is to actually earn money on YouTube so if anyone ever sits there and goes Rye Rye earns money no uh, where are you YouTube studio and they call it, look, they even put a dollar sign next to it called monetization. You click it. So you need, as a YouTube partner, you'll be eligible to earn money from your videos, get creator support and more. To get into the YouTube partner program, your channel needs to have 4,000 public watched hours from the last 12 months and 1,000 subscribers, your, <coughs> 1,000 subscribers. Your channel will also get rewarded to make sure that it follows all the monetization rules so if i've got any copyright criteria hey gabe you're right dude um and so forth they'll take it away um and i'm at 608 hours but gonna be big 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 but here i've only been streaming since november and from november to the end of february every two three weeks where the last couple of weeks i've been online constantly so this has shot up but this is extremely low but like i said not earning money not interested i mean i would love it if it happened but it's not my objective my objective is purely to show you guys how i do my things how i build my parks how i how i do everything basically so uh, i'm not one of these money grabbing gits that kind of just does it to make a quick buck i do it like i've said to help people advise people if you if you get that from me if you don't get that from me it's not a problem hey rod Yeah, but Gabe, for some reason, dude, I don't know how you do it, but you've been getting like over 200 views a video. I, I've not. <clears throat> it's all been you guys. 10. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, 50, 60, I think, per live stream. But then they're live streams, so I don't expect people to watch them thereafter. And, you know, just shows you how I build, really. Uh, where are we? What one do I want? Do we want this? Yes. I'll tell you what. We'll do the dark blue. That's not that's not black, is it? What? What's going on there? See, this is what I'm all about about the colours. It just. Mm. Oh wow, old one. And that's not rich enough.
Oh, you have 200 devices. Yeah, I thought you would, mate. <laughs> Evening, Rod. Pleasure, dude. Thanks for joining. I'm, I'm, why won't this be a darker colour? What does it do if I go black? That's not black. Or is it? Is it just the light? No, it's wrong, you see. I'm not happy with that. Um, why won't it give me... I have to go for... I don't want a copper flat roof, though. But what do I put on these? Uh, any suggestions, guys? Can't do the talking though, as I'm Italian. I have a very strong accent. Everyone to their own, mate. Everyone to their own. What can I do in here to make it look... Uh, what can I do in here to make this look a little bit different? I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just F this off out of here for the minute. Whilst I think about this. <laughs> How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Because we're generically the same as that and the entrance plaza. So entrance plaza around here, all I've done is put beam up, but then I've got a roof over it because I've got no beamed area over it. And here I've just gone up into that. Dang it. No worries, dude. It's the same for me. I was busy today. Extremely busy. Busy, full, stressing, as always. Trying to keep people happy. It's an extremely hard thing to do in lockdown when they buy cars. It's not my fault. It's not my fault that the cars can't get built quick enough because there's not enough people at the factories or there's not enough supplies going to the factories to actually build the car. You know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, not much that really can be said or done. I don't know what else to say to people, really. You know. I try and keep them happy. Give them the truth. It is what it is. Oh, guys, give me some inspiration. Um, what do I want to do with the top here? Uh, totally lost right now. You sell them, you sell them, I inured them. <laughs> Do you mean insure them, Ty? Did it ever happen to you when you create a part with loads of shops and notifications appears saying lots of people fail? Yeah, but I turn all that off, mate. Literally, go into your settings. Go into settings, game, and then basically disable everything. So ride breakdowns. You can turn them on. Just turn them off. Turn everything off. Guess vomit, guess litter, guess neediness, staff happiness. Just turn them all off. And then you can just play the game. You can do that in Planet Zoo. The problem is in Planet Zoo, they still keep breeding. They still keep dying. They still need looking after. They still need water. They still need this. They still need that. You can't have too many plants. You can't have too much grass. You can't have too much mud. You can't have too many rocks. It's all brr. With this, turn it off, it's off. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Planet Zero is just too overcomplicated. And uh, I, I could play it, it's just there's too much management involved. Where with this, it's build, play, ride, have a laugh. Simple. I'm sorry if people disagree with me. <laughs> I'm sorry if people disagree with me, but I just cannot, I, I can't play Zoo. And the fact that it keeps knocking out my live stream is doing my head in. So, Zoo can go and do one. I'm afraid. Actually, we've got Victorian top here, so we could use that, but it's a grid piece, so... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Let's do that then. So, add to building. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I just will cover them up, but I didn't want to make them too high, so that actually works works pretty well. That actually, um, and then what we'll do uh, 
I only play some <coughs> sandbox uh, in Planet Zoo as well, mate. But I still find there's just far. Oh, mind you, you wouldn't play the Planet Zoo tone yet, would you? Um, yeah, I only play sandbox in this, dude. See, now I've got that issue of it uh, showing through. Dang it. Um. You know, so I didn't mean to go off on the. Uh, see you later, Eden. Pleasure. No, this is um, this is PC, mate. There's no 100% uh, counter thingy down the bottom here, at the bottom next to your guest count. Why do you ask, Goop? What oh, a pony! I hate that. Actually, Gabe, I was going to look at um, oh, the gentleman that posted in uh, the Facebook site. I was going to have, I did load up his Western Park, um, but I really wanted to do some building. So, it's not a bad park actually, it runs really well. Just a bit, at least with, I don't know, it's just a little bit too uh, Western. Mine is different the way you drop stuff. Depends what you have selected over here, mate. Um, so you can, uh, oh, well, not these pieces, but um, when you select these, so let's just duplicate it and I'll show you what I mean. So you can have like position snap. So what it will do, uh, hold on a minute. So position snap puts it in places and I, I don't know, I don't use it, I don't like it. I like place, excuse me, I like placing everything um, how I want it, if you know what I mean, and where I want it. And I don't mind spending a few seconds lining it up. I just don't want to do with these. Oh, I know what to do. Uh, right, good. Edge them off. <coughs> Maybe a very insignificant detail, but it um, just gives it a little bit. This is one thing I play a lot with is shadows. So, because the more shadows you get on it, the more realistic it looks in respect of uh, to just how it is. Because if you have it flush, you get n you get no no idea of anything being there. I don't know if, if that makes sense. If you know what I mean?
gotta get a bigger desk guys, I can't keep doing this. How's the sound anyway guys, everything alright this evening? Still trying to figure out how to uh, make it sound right for you guys to be honest. Trying to learn how to breathe, not sniff, cough or anything like that as well. So apologies if uh, any of that comes across. Again, not used to uh, live streaming. There I am worried about it, but you watch other people and they're coughing, sneezing, picking their nose and all sorts. So. There you go, that looks good. I said it looks plain, but it will get there in a minute. We're just topping it off and making it look right. So that's fine. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right, excuse me. See the shadow on the wall? Just looks good. Gives it a little bit more depth. Cheers, Rob. Cheers, Tony. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Humming again. Sorry, guys. What are you doing? See now to me they look a bit too light but then they suit the structure this is too... oh no it's because it's uh, highlighted ignore me That's the other thing is when you're trying to match colours up, it's such a pain when it is. Oh, I've got to do the top bit. Uh, when it is highlighted. So that's start, starting to come along now. A quick look with the hat on. Da, da, da. Similar, but not the same. Would anyone mind if I just had a quick break? I'll let some guests in and uh, you can all have a little walk around the park, have a little ride. Just whilst I have a quick break, please, guys. Slightly unexpected, sorry. Just open the coasters. Where are we? Canyon Runner. Left take five. Arrow. Mouse.
Rage. That's rage. That's the goo. I'll put you in first person uh, view, guys, and you can. Um, there you go. Look at her going for it. She's loving it. Good girl. <laughs> right. Catch you in a minute, guys.
How do 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 day? Right, I'm back. Let's do this. I need to get this area finished. Right, I'm glad you all improve. It's uh, it's coming along. So we've got to figure out how we're doing this bottom section as well before I do this top bit because I think this may be a bit too big to put down here, but we can always change that. Make sure we're on. Da, 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 da. Don't be an ass. See, this is what I'm not about knowing the game, guys. So. There we go. So, if we do that. So there. Excuse me. Cheers mate, appreciate it. I do try my best. I do try. And that is where we want to be. Where do we want to be? Towards the center of the screen. That's one other thing with this game as well, guys. If you're ever trying to line things up, I know it sounds stupid, <coughs> but the camera lens is like a fish eye. So if you sit like that and try it, you think that's not lined up, well, it, it, it isn't, but also it, you can just see that it's just out. So, and if you remember how I did this section here, I had these beams just underneath on the inside. So that's kind of how I play the game. Um, so yeah, it's just little tricks. Yeah, that is true, dude. That is true. Um, I've had a, a few videos that have been like five or six minutes, and I've had a, like three, four hundred views on them. Um, but I like talking to you guys. <laughs> no matter how strange that sounds, it's nice to have company. Um, but also, it's nice to chat about how you do things and bits and bobs. So. Ooh, why is that not lining up? Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, that's backfired. So, do that. And that's one thing I do as well guys is as you can see is to tidy up as I go instead of coming back to it because if you come back to it um, you probably won't come back to it if you know what I mean so uh, what we'll 
update. We will. Ooh. Uh, edit. You know, you just want to effing blind, but you think, hold a minute, I'm talking to people. <laughs> uh. well, so that has not been horrible. I found that when YouTubers have thousands of subscribers, they don't really waste time with people, which I think is actually quite important. Yeah, well, I. I, I kind of not quite getting what you mean there dude to be honest with you um at the end of the day i have such a small fan base it's it's quite nice to um catch up with you all every other night see how you are have a good chin wag have a laugh get moaned at by the old uh, tottenham supporters bins and benches bins and benches hey claire well not moaned that Hold. <laughs> right, so we're a bit of a way off there. So we need to go there. My crown's not there, this one probably is. Yeah, well, if you think about it, Tone, it's the same in this one. Um, you, you could say they're slightly large, obviously, but at the same time, to me, they're. I, I'm just struggling a little bit with inspiration um, at the minute and that's kind of why I want to get these areas done so that when I come to bring in the rest of it it all gels really well oh yeah 100% Gabe I totally know what you mean now yeah um, <clears throat> I mean it's like uh, no I'm not going to say it um, there's something that's happened to me recently where I fought a few people that were uh, really into what I do and I don't know knew me slightly differently um, that are quite major into the game and uh, they seem to have gone extremely silent on me and I don't know I don't know if I've done something to upset them or if they've uh, got to a point where um, got to a point where they feel as though they're too big to uh, continue anything with me but at the end of the day I don't care their choice not mine end of the day but you guys that's the cool thing uh, which way did I rotate that I rotated that that way didn't I so uh, oh what why is that connected to that I thought I put it on a separate one Let's see if this works. It's always good to interact, and, and to be honest with you, I couldn't imagine having like a thousand followers because where 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 do you even start? I mean, hello, bang, you get a million messages back. Okay, why is that then? Why is that done that? Because that that should be hold on a minute. I rotate I rotated that that way, or did I do it twice? Must have done it twice. That should be lining up, shouldn't it? Or am I missing something? That is the same height as that. That what's going on here? sense that should hmm okay yeah 
Okay, fish ace shag. <laughs> right, anyway. Let's get back to building, guys. Enough about other YouTubers. So we'll go straight into that building. It's fine. So that will work. And if we get that one. There's a few guys I think that have done the old, um, what you call it, or tried doing the YouTube with um, with the console version, um, but from what I understand, it's a little bit difficult to record from PS5, if I remember rightly. Now this is where the issues start. Okay. I'm jumping ahead of myself again. I need to I need to get these these buildings finished. Because if I don't get them finished, I'm gonna be doing what I said I wouldn't be doing and going back to it. So got the base structure in so that's fine so uh, duplicate da, 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 Was that Victorian? Ah, oh, I see only flipping one that's gridded. Scalpers, true. Need a GFX car, and then I get the PC one. Tony definitely, mate. As as I've stated a few times, it's um, it's a number of things though. Remember, dude, with the PC side of things, um, don't forget it's about how your RAM's running as well. So, um, on my old setup, I was running a very, very low amount of RAM. I think I had eight gig running at uh, 945, um, 945 megahertz, which was appalling. Um, and it really didn't do the game any justice, but please don't think it's just a, a, a graphics card, dude. Um, you need to, I think I said last episode, um, one of the biggest things is finding it the right CPU, uh, so your processor that has a very, very strong single core capacity, mate. Single core, not multi-core. You could have, you could spend three grand on a Ryzen Threadripper nine, uh, was it thirty-nine fifty XC or whatever it is, and that is one of the best chips in the world. But the only reason why that chip's good is because if you had twenty. Uh, uh, how can I put it? 20 planet coasters running at once, it would use every single core to play each game. So for instance, like right now, this core, um, I, I don't know how to get my inner details up, um, but basically it only works on one core. So when you have a look at them, you got 32 gig. All right, mate, I'll shut up then. <laughs> 
you want to check your hertz out on it though your megahertz all right if you've got 32 gig it shouldn't run you should run the game perfectly um da -da 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 -da. i'm only running 16 gig i think on this it'll be in the um what you call it uh description guys if you wanted to have a look but yeah and you got okay okay you're good dude yeah so graphics card that's it i'll shut up you crack on mate you crack on. <laughs> I'll just keep quiet. Are you trying to help, remember? <laughs> uh, so I want to duplicate. Oh, no. like that. Like that. So this is what I'm on about tons and tons of buildings. So even though this looks like one building, because of the way that you have to use the grid, you can manipulate the grid so that you're using different pieces. Yeah, well, Tony, if you've got that, mate, um, yeah, graphics card, that's all you need. That is literally all you need. I didn't realise you had that set up, buddy. Sorry. I wasn't being presumptuous. If that's the right word. Partially dyslexic. As the other Spurs fan knows about. Together now, guys. Oh, I'll um, Tony, where, uh, where whereabouts do you live, dude? If you don't mind me asking, and you don't mind writing it, obviously, just area like Staffordshire, uh, Buckinghamshire, or something like that, and I'll keep an eye out for a good one for you and. Uh, uh, we'll have to message each other or something, mate. <clears throat> Rod's a good one to talk to about performance as well. <laughs> we were having a, a conversation the other day about how, why his wasn't working so well. Um, and one major thing, if you guys ever want to figure out especially if you download Theme Maker's Toolkit, um, you will realize that the issue is with Theme Maker's Toolkit, whoever the person is that, uh, what do you call it, creates the great piece of item you're using, um, if they don't optimize it, now I haven't got a clue what that's on about, what, what that means, because I never got into computer graphics, unfortunately, uh, when I was at school, I, uh, I was more pen to paper kind of guy. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Um, if they're badly optimised, I think what that means is like, like these roofs and everything. When you have a look at these roofs, they're not, this is just graphics, they're not actually indented. So what that means is that's been optimised perfectly to l make it look as though it's uh, indented, so that it gives you a 3D effect. East Sussex, cool. Tony, what I'll do is I'll... Um, why does Krishy keep retracting messages? Dude, I haven't seen you for ages. Say hello, dude. Um, sorry, where was I? So yes, uh, but what people do on ThingMaker's Toolkit is they actually create the indentations. So the problem is, is when you load ThingMaker's Toolkit like this, you'll see I've selected plaster. Now the plaster bits are optimized perfectly. So you could put 500,000 of those in your park and it wouldn't affect your PC so badly. If you then go to, for instance, I've got tons of stuff in here. If you go to something like, let's have a look. Uh, what's this cow look like? Why have I got a cow? Anyway. So this has been optimized pretty well as well. 
because you'll see that there's only the odd little bit that's bulging out but from a distance the graphics make it look as though it is shaped if you know what i mean so this has been optimized really really well when you i'm just trying to find something that isn't um these else is going to no so again that's been optimized pretty well it doesn't look great but by the time you pull away from it it don't look too bad I'm just trying to think of what what the guy said was really 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 bad so we're getting loads of the list they do how many did you have rod i can't remember now mate i mean you can see i've got a shed load of them but this is where uh, you guys <laughs> you guys uh, asked me to download some parks the other night and obviously they took some time and um, yeah anyway this is why I've got loads of stuff so for instance this I think oh no that's that's all right actually oh, what is that Blimey. me to think of what so this here's a prime example so this is beautifully made this looks stunning but because it has all these contours, you know, etc., bits and bobs, so much to it, like the nut bolts, these bits, etc., I think from what I understand about um, optimization is, is, mind you, this probably isn't that bad because it's all flat sections, but it's the amount of polygons you use. So the more and more you use, obviously, the more memory it takes up to move them, etc. But what that also does is every time you open up one of these boxes, it loads every single one of these. And as Rod found out the other day, when you get rid of the majority of these, you tend not to have load lag issues. Um, so yeah, I've got to get rid of a load to be honest. And the way that I do it on PC is every now and then I unsubscribe to all. Um, and then the parks obviously that I have them in, Thingmakers Toolkit, Tony, you're an MK. Tony, are you seriously in Milton Keynes? Or Milton Beans? Tony, talk to me. Talk to me, Tony. Tony, you're Milton Keynes. Because that's not East Sussex, dude. <laughs> oh no, you had a. L oh, sorry. I mean, Nan lived in Milton Keynes. Sorry, I missed your message, dude. Uh, yeah, well, me and I'm in Milton Keynes as well, and so is Claire. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and carry on building. But yeah, just to give you an idea to the reason why Theme Makers Toolkit can take the Mickey out of your setup, to be honest with you. So again, uh, everyone to their own and how they want to play the game. Sorry, dude. Totally missed it. I totally missed what you said. Sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't looking at your messages previous ones what else have I missed county darn yep uh, no, no 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 dude it's not your phone it's me I totally didn't read your message I'm reading it all off my iPhone <laughs> apologies mate so let's get some uh, let's get some detail going in here then guys a sharp rubbing on rabbiting on um, build some stuff here let's make this look beautiful big roundabout which one tone is about 50 million of them <laughs> <coughs> excuse me well believe it or not um i'm actually originally from luton dare i say it but did you hear that i pronounced my t's 
So yeah, I'm a Lutonian, should we say. I think it's the right, correct way of putting it. Moved out to a place called Leighton Buzzard. Uh, oh, crikey, must be coming on 10 years ago now. No, sorry, hold on a minute. 20 years ago now, I think. Have my own place over there. And then uh, ended up in a little town, little village called Amptil. And then ended up moving to Milton Keynes. Or Milton Beans, however you want to say it. Where Bianca lives. Ray! Obviously, I've watched too many soaps over the years. Apologies. Hey, Parrot. How are you, dude? You joining us for a little bit this evening? Just having a little bit of a laugh, a little bit of a play. There it goes. Just trying to get back in the vibe with this dude. You been up too much recently? I did mate, what a race that was. I thoroughly enjoyed pretty much every moment of that race. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good season. I was happy I got quite uh, done quite well in the uh, Discord contest as well. On channel five, they did a uh, F1 predictions and uh, I totally messed up on the first lap. <laughs> Getting the yellow flags and safety car, I put nah, it'll be fine, everyone will be all right and then has to do their thing, as usual. East London, from East London, mate. If that's right, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently I'm quite good at doing voices, but I can't do the voices that I'm really good at on, uh, on here. But we won't go any further than that. Shall we, Claire? Yeah, did you enjoy the race then, Parrot? It was nice to see Max up there properly for a change instead of being spun out or having a breakdown or something. It's nice to see Hamilton have some challenge for a change, but you, you've got to ask the question, though. <clears throat> Is Bottas really going to be there next season? Together, this I'm liking this now. Mm. Suit you, sir. Suit you. Totally overdoing it on the pace count. But hey, that's life. Well, I've um, always stood on the fact that Hamilton is a good driver. Um, I've never ever doubted his ability in a car. Uh, one, because I've been behind him once and uh, when he was, how old was he? Seven, I think. Um, and 
yeah, left me standing. Put it that way. But uh, no, the only thing I, I don't agree with Lewis Hamilton, uh, but it's only a personal thing, is uh, his off-track ethics. Uh, at the end of the day, yeah, you have an opinion. Do what you want. Just don't put it in my face. Simple. On track, though, um, there's 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 just nobody out there. No one. Do you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. If you've got a good car, they're up with him. But Max is Max is probably I'm going to be honest with you, the only driver on the grid uh, that potentially could have any influence on the way Hamilton is. Uh, or beating him to be honest with you but you know that's my opinion <sighs> again everybody see why is that off thank you I think if you look at Bottas, I mean, what was he at the end of the Grand Prix? 37 seconds behind. Yes, okay, he had a failed pit stop, which was 10.9. So let's say his average uh, pit stop was 2.5. He was still held up. It was only held up for 8.4 seconds longer, but was still 37 seconds off the pace. I mean, I mean, give me the keys. Give me the keys. I'm joking. Um, but you just you got to sit there and ask the question, really, haven't you? How long can he keep doing what he's doing without facing questions? I mean, I felt sorry for him in the Drive to Survive. Why ain't this selecting? Um, the Drive to Survive series, because when he won the Russian Grand Prix and he literally went back to the room after all the interviews and the, even his engineers had left for the day just because Lewis got a penalty. And you sit there and go, the ethics of the team are totally wrong. But at the same time, prove yourself, dude. Do it. Do what Hamilton does. Be on the pace. Beat Hamilton. Do it. Don't just beat Hamilton because he got a penalty. Don't just beat Hamilton because he had a puncher or something like that. Just crack on and absolutely smash it. But what he's doing is he's, he's just not doing it, unfortunately. And... He can sit there and bleat all day as far as I can care, for all I care in my book. But at the same time, it's like he released an Instagram post saying, good pace today. And you sit there and go, hold on a minute, you were 37 seconds off the pace. You, you might as well be in a blooming Williams. You know, just don't make sense to me. Really doesn't. Get Russell in that car. Get Russell in there. First, finish first and second all the time. No question asked. Russell would smash it. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a Planko player, an ex go kart But what do I know? Right, how are we looking then, guys? How are we looking at this? What do we reckon? Do we look like coming all right? That all right? Oh, Latifi. Nah. Latifi. Do you know what I hate about the sport in a minute? You've got Latifi. You've got Mazepin. You've got... Oh, who else you got? Paid drivers. Pa it, it shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't be allowed. And Mick Schumacher needs to buck his ideas up as well. Because unfortunately, all that demonstrated yesterday was that he's living off his dad's name. That's all that demonstrated. I don't care he's in the shittest car on the grid. Pardon the language. But you need to do something, son. You know, it, it, it's not right. I mean, I'll give a friggin' arm and a leg. And I literally would give an arm and a leg just to have a lap in one of those cars. Let alone be able to be able to race them and be a part of that circle. I, I literally would give an arm and a leg to be to be in one of those cars and it just don't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to me how the one person could be so good in one car but the other person not because technically the cars are identical yes they're set up to the individual drivers but yeah there you go danny danny's always a goer he's getting used to the merc i like danny but 
it's just people you know you pay to be in a sport that's not recognition that's just i'm spoiled i've been brought up this way i'm going to drive a formula one car up a lot of you grow up or should i say grow a pair and actually freaking drive properly sorry i'm going off on a tangent now you really you've got me going <laughs> i hate it hate it Bring back the days of bloody Nigel Mansell, Damon Hill, where it was actually friggin' Talent and Senna and Prost and everybody. You know, Hamilton to a degree. Hamilton wasn't a paid driver. And look at him now. Best racing driver ever made, ever. But I beg to differ because obviously there's a lot more races nowadays and so forth. Yeah, Latifi, I know, it just, yeah, shouldn't be on the grid. It was like Roman Grosjean, shouldn't be on the grid. Well, isn't now, but shouldn't have been for all those years. Magnussen, same thing why were you there you know why didn't show at mercedes at mclaren didn't show at Haas. just jog on get them off get the real talent in tanuki sonoda just come in for alpha tori he is one to watch he is one to watch pierre gasly now that he's settled in they're the ones to watch they're the ones to watch for the future not these bloody i mean have you even oh i'm going off on one now i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna shut up Back to playing car. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. Bean. Bean. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> oh, I was going to keep quiet. Otherwise, people will leave my channel. I don't know, maybe I'm just old fashioned when it comes to all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Don't get me wrong, if my daddy was rich enough to buy 50% of a racing team, I'd fucking want to drive it like Stroll. But hey, unfortunately, not all of us are in that position. Sorry, I didn't mean to put the down on thing, guys. Didn't mean to. Shut my big mouth. But really what I should be saying is I'll tell you what, Lewis, come play this game, mate. <laughs> See if you can do this. Play your board after 10 minutes. Can't be a Planko master, dude. Everyone's gone silent on me now. I upset everyone. <laughs> I've cried out loud.
sorry guys I didn't mean to go off on about Formula 1 it just riles me a little bit that um, you get overpaid people that yeah so apologies if uh, I offended anybody Uh, this is hydro beans um, so literally if you go into search a friend and search for i hyphen dro d-r-o um, and just go to his workshop parrot um, they're fully optimized so that they don't actually take up a huge amount of um, uh, what you call it frame count should we say compared to a lot of other thing make a toolkit pieces you just missed out on the, the conversation I was saying about it dude plus they're the right size for this kind of work because these are the normal beams but they're just too big they're oversized <coughs> excuse me sorry Too much, yeah. Let's do every two on this. One. Mm -hmm. See you later, Just joining me. It's appreciated, as always. And thank you for creating a rant from me. Does that make sense? I don't know. Does that work? Or do we just want the three main? Really, in real life, you'd have them on every single one. No worries, Tony. I just, uh, I, uh, yeah, you know what I mean by my Klinsman comment the other day. Even though actually he could play football, he just dived everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Don't want to start a uh, football wars. Stuff it, we'll just go with that.
why is that so far? So far. Good. Cheers, time. Very sure, mate.
can't believe we're actually building tonight. We've done all right tonight. Um, look how we're doing these areas. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, scenery. Hello dude, thanks for joining. Much appreciated mate, sorry I missed your comment. I was busy. Sorry buddy. See you soon, yeah?
Hey Claire. Your Spurs fans gone. Tony's just left us for this evening. Come back to that point. Okay, so we are. Where are we? Yeah, it would. Um, problem is, Tone. <coughs> Sorry, Don. My apologies, mate. Um, the water things are so large, uh, the fountains, that you can't hide them like within their guns and stuff, if you know what I mean. So you're a little bit limited when you come to stuff like that, unfortunately. I mean, don't get me wrong, there may be a way of doing it. I'm not sure. Um, but it is, it is a little bit limited in that respect. 
Right, and just for all those out there that are still watching, yeah, you could do that, oh, but you'd only, you'd only be able to set it to, um, uh, what do you call it, intermittent timings, so you wouldn't be able to do it to like have a trigger, uh, unless, for instance, you put like a viewing platform here, and every time the coaster went by, the trigger squirted water on people, if you know what I mean, you could do it like that, I suppose. Oh, maybe. Excuse me, what am I doing? Bah. Right, okay. So, like this here. So we want to stop people walking through this. So this is a neat little trick. Uh, again, I'm not sure what these are from pack-wise, etc. Uh, but basically they're your standard tens of barrier. I don't know if you know them. Um, if you have used them, a lot of people just do this. Um, problem is with that, it's an eyesore. So if you literally center it up and do this hide it away what it then does is creates an invisible circle and people do not walk through your items so for instance in the pirate area where is it so the pirate section just here uh, they're missing so all i do is plunk that there put that up what we'll actually do is change that to a long one and then we'll put it underneath here so if you watch this prime example all right he's not going to walk through there is he um but basically now when they go to the shop they'll walk around and into the entrance instead of cut through and also here they'll walk around as well hopefully at least i'm going to place it do i place that yeah cool excuse me I say it just stops them um, uh, going through it, should we say. And it's the same with these bits here. So here's a see what they do. I should I should already have them. It's just whether or not they copied and pasted. They came across with the blueprint. So now they're walking around instead of through, which is really good. And then if I have a quick look underground. There you go got tens of barriers there so they're already not walking through so and that works really well when you put I did have where's that disappeared to I had a well in the middle there that's disappeared right I think I'm gonna call it a night guys I'm getting a little bit tired so we've made huge progress it's definitely coming along um, and I think in the next next stream we'll uh, hopefully be finishing that I might do some off camera build I'm not sure um, but that's come along yeah I'm getting a vibe back now so that's come along really really nice I might just finish it off with some um, fairy lights get the colour Oh, excuse me. Yeah, this is the last bit tonight, guys. I don't want to ride in the shop. I don't want to ride a uh, shop called Fairy. So, constant. I know it all looks very vertical, horizontal, um, but it will all start to make sense once trees and bits and bobs are themed and so forth. And these fairy lights you'll only get glimmers of as you're kind of going around the park. I 
because they'll be hidden behind trees and, and all sorts basically so yeah is going to do is uh, create some lovely reflections I think off the lake and the water and again it's just to tie it in with um, the front entrance plaza in respect to the theming and so forth the general the general feel of the park should we say to split up the areas the areas filter through now and look very much like this will eventually and so I find this a little bit strange having this kind of like generic look but wherever you go to park wise they have a similar generic look throughout the park um, you know or maybe not I don't know but it, you know say for instance uh, I don't know Alton Towers in the UK no no Claire um, you know that central plaza look you have as you come up to it you know they're not <clears throat> it's not the same throughout the whole park uh, but when you go to like all the food stands and stuff like that as you walk around the park they're all very very similar cheers bro um, and that's kind of what I'm just trying to create here but then at the same time like here we got western shops go with the western area once I eventually get that done we then got west uh, sorry western pirate shops all throughout here sorry I'm starting to lose pot now um, so yeah you got the pirate themed area with shops and then you've also got um, the steampunk shops as well there's not many but there's some um, to coincide with that and then I thought instead of doing a uh, what do you call it haunted area I would just bring this together to kind of replicate the front of the the park should we say and then I haven't got still haven't got a clue I've been thinking but I haven't got a clue what I'll do up the back here but it will come it will get there so anyway sorry guys excuse me I'm gonna leave it there this evening I really really appreciate your time um, and thank you for watching and uh, can't really ask much more for from you guys you you know you're great in respect to spending the time listening listen to me rabbiting on etc did you see the invisible man then no where bud invisible man where was I, I was there where's there invisible man where did they pop out oh excuse me sorry I didn't see an invisible man mate, sorry. They do pop in and out subject to what uh, distance in you got it on. But, uh, still not sure about these boats. I don't know if I like these boats. But Channel 5 Gaming, oh, yeah, in the boat. <laughs> yeah, there he is, hello. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, I'm really not sure about these boats, but I was thinking of putting a train in, like train that goes around the edge of the park, but what really, what kind of views is it going to get? Secondly, where do I put the station at the entrance, unless I put it underground here, and then I feed an entrance and an exit, you know, exit and entrance, and then kind of you have, as you walk into the park, you've got the train station but I don't know if it'll spoil the look and then what do I put a station here excuse me and then do I kind of I'll tell you what would actually look quite good is to have a station here 
but I kind of sit there and think well the park's not really big enough for that if I had if I had utilized this whole area which I'm not going to because I know my PC will probably go pop so I'm gonna leave it there I think we got the chairlift we got the boat could do a monorail I suppose but I don't know if it will suit the park but anyway for the two people that are left watching thank you very much for your time this evening and to all that have watched thank you very much it's appreciated sorry i went on about the formula one but uh it's something i'm extremely passionate about so um love to you all thank you very much for watching um happy coastering all and night night that's rai signing off see you guys soon thank you bye bye